On today's program, we're discussing the new wide-ranging documentary, The Anatomy of Hate, a dialogue for hope. Anatomy of Hate, a documentary written, produced, and directed by Michael Ramsdale. And it couldn't be more relevant, especially considering some of the rhetoric being thrown around in politics today. His film examines how fear is triggered and shapes us and our society. So the first question that I'm usually asked about this film is, why did you do it? What made you start it? Hey! The country is going to hell in a baggage handbasket! The question that was in my mind hadn't completely formed yet, but that kind of the impetus behind this whole thing is that if man universally desires peace and prosperity for themselves and to pass on to their children, why is it that as a species we have so universally failed? People say, why do you hate people? I said, you know, I don't hate just one person. I hate everybody equally. If it's brown, flush it down! All non-whites would be fucking dead. They would be buried. It don't take much to set you off. I knew enough about the Middle East uh, from a very young age to know that it was more complex than the sound bite. They hate us, they're evil, uh, you know, religious fanatics, all those kinds of catchphrases that say, okay, great, let's shock them all the hell out of them. I want to know a little bit more, okay, so what made this happen? Why did this happen? What makes people, not just Muslims do this, but what makes people do this? We're about ready to bomb the shit out of them and kill hundreds of thousands of Iraqis, and we're cheering that on. That, to me, requires a little bit further exploration. The problem is when you make people afraid, that tends to make them more violent, especially towards other individuals who don't share their beliefs. In the process of, of making this film, one very strong, prevalent aspect is fear, and one missing component in all of it is some form of dialogue or some form of understanding, some form of interaction. 14 Palestinian militants and 12 Israeli soldiers came together under the promise to never raise arms against each other again. They called themselves the Combatants for Peace. When you put a face on the enemy, you remove that blank slate and you start to get to know human beings. And once you start to get to know human beings, the situation becomes a lot less scary and a lot more complex. Um, but through that complexity, I think, lay the promised land that we're all looking for. It doesn't mean that conflict disappears. It just means that our conflict resolution changes form. We know that there are people who can do incredibly altruistic and powerful and amazing things on the basis of their sense of empathizing with others, of being able to get into the mind of somebody else. Albert Einstein said that peace can only be achieved through understanding. That's the mantra that I wake up with every day, that, that if we can understand, that if I can understand and then through cinema, storytelling, uh, direct dialogue, we start spinning the cycle the other direction where as opposed to fear and, and um, misunderstanding being the driving forces of the direction of this globe, it becomes understanding and dialogue that drive the direction of this globe, which I think would be a completely different and certainly more productive direction if our goal is peace and prosperity. I don't know if there is a utopia you know, where it's all going to work right. But the thing is, I don't, I, that doesn't mean that we don't need to work towards something. For the first time, I put a face on the enemy. These were just people who had mom and dad, brother, sister. Some may even have children, for all I know. Beyond my highest expectations, it's being responded to as exactly what it was set out to be, a dialogue piece. It's a catalyst, a catalyst for dialogue. I think Anatomy of Hate um, is a really powerful film that can be used as a tool to create dialogue amongst groups that aren't necessarily willing to talk to each other or maybe that just don't even have the wherewithal or the capacity or the understanding to think that they can communicate with each other. The effort to not judge these people and present them is not as common as it should be.
I was understanding it through a visceral experience that I was having in my seat because the characters that would be putting on the screen were so uh, extreme and, and, and in their viewpoints that you just, I felt myself like really kind of hating them. You know, and it was, it was interesting that uh, the, the reactions I was having in my body were what the film was exploring. Really what the biggest message it gives is that the power is upon us. The biggest thing, the, the, the saddest thing I saw and the most hopeful thing I saw is that this is all just a choice, that the world looks this way because of the choices we have made and we continue to make. Make sure you get this message out to everyone.